Rose is a power conference coach. I got, I got another Big 12 takeaway for you, or a Big 10 takeaway. You ready for this? Zach Eady last night played 21 minutes, started. Trevion Williams played 15 minutes off the bench for Purdue, took one shot from the floor, shot two free throws. Purdue as a team, here's the thing that stood out to me. Purdue as a team took 56 shots from the floor. 36 of those shots were from three, and they shot 16 for 36 from beyond the arc. You remember how we were asking, I don't know how they're going to make shots. I don't know how they're going to space the floor. Well, you know what? They're making shots. You know, uh, he didn't play. He shot three for nine. He had 14, but he shot three. For <laughs> what about Stefanovic? <laughs> hey, I thought I had a point. Stefanovic there. had a great Sasha. game. Sasha, Sasha, Sasha was five for six. Well. <laughs> okay, five for six. So those two together. And the, the Thompson kid. <laughs> those two together. No, 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 you can't oh, yeah. do that. Oh, I'm doing it. The, Tom, <laughs> the Thompson, the Thompson <laughs> kid shot well, too. From the Thompson kid shot well, too. Eight for 15, those two. I we like, said we didn't know shooting. You, we have shooting. Don't you like when, like, somebody scores 28 and the other kid scores 12 and you're like, they combined for 40. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> what was it when he said me and Michael Jordan combined for 70 one night and Jordan had 70? I can't remember who it was. Yeah, but that's weird. I mean, I, so so yes, I think they do have have shooting. What did first end up with in that game? Because I really you're high on Caleb first. I am I'm higher than anyway. higher than others. I thought I I think that he's got potential. He he played uh, pretty well when Purdue scrimmage Providence. I'll tell you this much here. Um, I, Travion Williams only taking one shot like like He's, i don't care how many threes you took that's going to be the role that's going to be the role that he has to play because zach Eady is better at what the at what trayvon williams does best and trayvon williams is not going to be a guy that can play it on the perimeter and it's they, 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 and they didn't play together i'm assuming no they, they did not play together why is he not a focal point still whenever was trayvon they, williams a preseason all-american uh, he was first team preseason all Big Ten, and he's not. He, he well, was, guess he what? Was he was on my be. second team. He was on my second team. I mean, this is second team All American. Yeah. Be. Zach, but I thought he was going to be really here, good. But here's the thing about it: like this is what was coming out of Purdue all off season. We kept hearing about how good Zach Eady has been and how impressive he's been, and and, and there's going to be a chance that Trevion Williams doesn't start. Like this is not. I promise you, this is not something that's surprising to Trevion, and I don't think it's surprising to anyone in that program. And if he accepts this, if Trevion says, like, look, you know what? This is just what I'm going to be this year. This is just what's going to happen when uh, when Isaac Haas and AJ um, Hammonds were on the same team and they they shared minutes. Like what year is this? senior, yeah, yeah. Well, I I mean that's that's what they're going to have to do. That's that that's going to be the juggling act that Matt Painter has to uh, find a way to make work because bottom line is this: Zach Eady is better at the thing that he that that Trevion Williams is going to be asked to do. And if you're going to build your roster around shooting. And a monster in the paint. Zach Eady is the better guy uh, for that paint. One other box score observation I have for you, Fanta. Um, you're you're a good math guy, right? Is I know, I know he's asking, asking me. About is nine right is now. nine nine for eleven? What what what? Right, right Down with no go. I'm just nine guessing. It's very good. good. Nine for eleven. Yeah, good. nine for eleven is damn That's good. Like what? Like like eighty something percent, right? It's, if you, it's, if you, it's a great. I mean, post post players should go nine for eleven, yes, frankly. Yes. But 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 especially nine for when you're playing Central Connecticut. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I think, I think I they did score again. Nine right for now. eleven is very very good. Go ahead. That's your take. Look, so I got a tweet last night and said, John Fanta, please fill in the blank for me, and it says Odama Sonogo will be the Big East player of the. And it has Y E, and then he just leaves blank for two letters <laughs> to fill in the blank for him, which was very UConn esque. Look, they they looked good. Uh, they shot the basketball well last night. That's something that was kind I, of there. I'm gonna concern. I'm gonna wait until they get to Atlantis before yep. I have any takes. Yeah. Yeah. Battle I for agree. Atlantis. Battle for Atlantis. Yeah. First that first. I'll be game. there. I'll be there. You're going. I'm going. You taking the family? Yep, taking the family. Thanksgiving. He's not taking me, which is. Unbelievable. Wow. We can get a after, after I took him to Forlini's, after I let him have the good hotel room. Dude, you almost got us kicked out of Forlini's no, because the waiter me. was just ready. <laughs> good hotel room. I'm going to remember that. That guy loved me. He, he uh, got the – long story. I don't, need, yeah. I don't need to rant about it again. No, no, no. Yeah. Look, look. I was upset I, about it. I actually <laughs> would, would go on – I would say this right now. Um, I think in terms of the Feast Week tournaments, there might not be a more compelling Feast Week tournament opener like, because this could be a semifinal or a championship game. Connecticut and Auburn is going yeah, to be a, oh, that is a huge, huge matchup. That is, that's, that's the test right there. That's, yes. that's, 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 that's when we find out who's real. Another good performance by Auburn last night. Beat the absolute dog out of Moorhead State. I'm a Moorhead. I love Preston Spradlin. and I think he does a nice job. They won the league last year. They've got a pro in Janai Broom. I don't know 
what level of pro, but he'll make some money, whether it be mm-hmm. yeah, overseas sure. yeah. or whatever. But he's he's and gonna, Auburn just beat him. And, and their front court just overwhelmed him. I mean, he had a really hard time. I, Auburn, man, intriguing storyline. I picked him for the final four and I'm having my doubts, but good start to their season. Yeah, I think they're, they'll they'll figure Bruce just figures it out, man. He's unbelievable. He just he'll find a way to figure it out. You guys got anything else before we get out of here? Uh, I like Villanova over UCLA Friday night. Uh, I think Justin Moore looked excellent. Justin Moore looked like a stud. Brandon Slater with 17 yesterday. But Conquez and, and Juzang are outstanding. I just, I like Villanova in this spot. And after what I saw from Zach Eady, I don't care who he was playing. Today, give me Gonzaga over Texas this weekend. I got Gonzaga. Since we At won't home. pod next At week. Home. Since we won't pod next week, I'll give you those two picks. There they are. Uh, one freshman we're not talking about right now. Tennessee had a nice win. I mean, it was a win, but Kennedy Chandler was terrific. Seven to 10, four or four from the three. I mean, I, I didn't credit the kid for being that good of a shooter. He has shot the cover off the ball, both in the exhibition games and game one, uh, potential sec player of the year. He's that talented. Yeah, he's good. He's very good. He's really, really good. What they need is someone that we talked about it with Michigan state a little bit, right? They need someone that can create. And he's that guy that initial closeout and Kennedy uh, Chandler can be that guy. I'm just upset that he wasn't there last year. Cause I feel like that's what they were missing. Hey, that's la- exactly last what they thing. Missing. Last thing for me, if Sean and Archie Miller played one-on-one right now, I would make Archie a two and a half point favorite. Uh, I think it's more than that. I think, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's significantly more than that. <laughs> <laughs> 11 and a half point yeah, favorite. 11, okay, yeah. There you go. I think there it's more go. That's that all right I got. Now. That's all he got right now. Well, listen, this has been fun. What a, what a what a what a great week we had! Yeah, you need me to fly up here every week. Nine, I can do this. Nine for the hours show. of live streaming uh, <laughs> during the day. We had an hour long show with Archie Miller and Sean Miller yeah. last night. Mm-hmm. We just knocked out this podcast here in the Fanta Studios, the Hoboken yes. Studios of Field of Sixty Eight. How about that? The Hoboken Studios of Field of Sixty Eight for John Fanta, for John Fanta. Terrence Oglesby. I'm Rob Dodds. This was the DTF Podcast. Okay.